It's Thursday the... Well, good morning. It's Thursday the 9th of April. It's the day before Good Friday. And the passage which we're looking at this morning is Luke chapter 22. And Luke 22 recounts what happened on the day before Jesus was crucified. On the Thursday before Good Friday, before the day of his crucifixion. And on that day, Jesus was wanting to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. He wanted them to prepare to eat the Passover meal with his disciples. And it's in this context that we see that Jesus is our Passover lamb. He is our Passover lamb. So to understand this, we need to think first of all about what the Passover lamb represented. In Jesus' day, and even to this day, the Jews still eat a Passover meal. And in that meal, they're remembering uh, what they did uh, way back in Egypt uh, in 1400 BC. And way back then, they were in slavery in Egypt. They were a captive people. And God had brought many plagues upon Pharaoh and upon the Egyptians uh, to command Pharaoh to let his people go. And the final plague was the plague of the firstborn. And God gave very clear instructions to the Jews, to the Israelites. He said, what you have to do is to kill a lamb. This lamb has to be without blemish. It has to be exactly one year old. And you have to kill this lamb. You have to take the blood from that lamb and paint it on your doorposts and on the lintel of your door. And then you need to eat a special meal, which I'm commanding you to eat. And if you do this, if you follow what I say, then this plague of the firstborn will not touch your house. Your firstborn son will not die. And so the Israelites did all that God said. You can read about it in the book of Exodus. And they, they followed all of his instructions. And God did exactly what he said. He brought a plague on the firstborn. Every firstborn son throughout the nation died apart from those who had the blood on their doorposts and on the lintel. God caused the angel of death to pass over those houses and no death came upon them. And Jesus picks up this theme and he says that he is the Passover lamb of the new covenant. That same Passover lamb that, that brought about that initial covenant with the Israelites. He is now the, the Passover lamb of the new covenant. And we, we see Jesus in this chapter initiating another meal, a new meal, a new covenant meal. And we find it in Luke chapter 22 and verse 19. It says, And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Jesus initiates a new covenant meal of bread and wine. And he says, this bread symbolizes my body, which is given for you. Just like that Passover lamb was slain to protect the firstborn away back in the days of the Exodus. So my body will be given to protect you, to cover you so that death will not touch you so that you will receive life and just like that blood of the Passover lamb was spilt and then painted on the doorposts of the house so my blood will be poured out for you and as you put your faith in Jesus his blood is, is painted on the doorpost and lintel of your life so that death will not touch you Jesus says that we are to take this bread and take this cup so that we will remember his death until he comes again. And sadly, at the moment, because of coronavirus, we're not able to gather together. We're not able to commune together and to celebrate uh, communion and the Lord's Supper in the way that's instituted. And we long for that day when we will meet again together and we'll be able to celebrate this meal that Jesus uh, institutes for his church. But in the meantime, it's so important, especially at Easter, that we remember that the Lord Jesus gave us his body and gave us his blood so that we could be saved, so that death wouldn't touch us, 
so that our sin would be washed away, so that we would receive life. And so today, as you remember this meal that Jesus ate with his disciples just hours before he would be crucified, I want you yourself to give thanks to Jesus for what he has done for you. Let's pray just now and then after the video is finished, take some time yourself to reflect and pray and to give thanks for Jesus. And then do phone somebody else and just together spend time talking about the Lord and what he's done for us. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you so much for the Lord Jesus. We thank you that he is our Passover lamb, the, the lamb of the new covenant. That he died so that we could have life. That he died in our place, covering us over so that we would be guarded and shielded from death and given new life in him. Father, today, please help us to live thankful for what Christ has given us. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. And may God bless you today.